Okay, we're out here on the next part of the fence. I've had to uh, take up my old fence. It's the old fence post in the corner. I, uh, two or three days ago, I went and rented a groundhog, and I uh, drilled holes 12 foot, not 12 foot, 12 inch diameter, about three feet deep. So this is a corner post. This is the old post that I took out. And here's an old post. I had to set up a temporary fence to block up my dogs over here because I didn't want them getting out. I've covered up. I hit Cleachy, which is a rock down about three feet. I've covered this up so it, it may start to rain, so I don't want it getting full of water. Here's the old hole. Uh, the distance between my post now this is a, going to be a short panel here. Is uh, this about a six foot panel? But most of them are twelve foot. Here's an old hole. Here's a new hole. Here's the metal plate that's going to go on the top for the top decoration. I'm using that just as a layout to see where to uh, put the post. I've already uh, uh, drilled all these. I've dug this one out. I'm getting ready to go get some concrete, set the post, and put it in. So I've got it here, I've got it blocked out. Right here, I'm on the corner. I've got a corner area right here. You can see, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, as, because people come down this alley with trailers, and they have, they've knocked down the old fence before and bent the post. So I'm going to put a reinforcing uh, uh, post here, heavy duty post, so if they do come around, they're not going to hit my good fence. So this is uh, coming across here. I uh, put this post in. I wrapped it with cardboard. And you probably say, why do you wrap that with cardboard? Well, I have two big buildings here that I built some time ago, storage buildings, workshop buildings, that I designed to where I could always move them and take them out of here if I wanted to. So this post, by wrapping it with cardboard, should be able to slide it out of the concrete if I ever decide to move these buildings so I got an access here. I have to take these buildings out without tearing my fence all the way down. So that's why that's there. Now these fence posts are 12 foot apart. This is from here to here is 12 foot. And so these are the ones I've already put in. And here's another uh, spot right here is my stake for my property line. I'm going to put another post here to protect my fence. Here's a short panel little five foot panel here. I had to make that to, to line out to where this could where I could get the buildings out the back. So right here, a post already set. These are 12 foot posts. I'll have to cut them off. I was going to try to put four foot in the ground, but because the cleachy I hit the rock, I'm only three feet down. So anyway, I put uh, two sacks of 80 pound concrete in it, so 160 pounds per post, which is more than enough. Because I'm still going to put a footing across here. There's not going to be any real wind to push on this fence because of the design. Because uh, I showed you on the first video that the design, the panels and stuff, so it's no way is it going to blow the fence over. Anyway, here's another post set. 12 foot across here, and then we're going to go another 12 foot, and then it goes back towards the house. So that's a little 5 foot section there. You probably say, what is that piece of stuff there? This is a, used to be a Kluger that I uh, took up, and, and uh, it was an old printing press, and I had to take it apart, so I'm going to scrap it out. I got to get it out of there. So 
anyway, let me go around on the other side and show you the rest of it, and then uh, we'll call this a video. On the other side of the house, this is uh, a little over four foot, four and a half feet right here. This is going to be a gate. The panel turns here. I, I didn't want to bring it clear out here because my gate would have been too big, so I'm going to put a little angle here, give it a little more, uh, should give it some, just a little different look. So coming across here, from here to here, 12 foot, from here to here, 12 foot. So we've got these 12 foot between here. And then look down through here, you can see I've already drilled the holes on down through here. So anyway, uh, you don't have to see the holes, you just tell I'm telling you they're there. So anyway, I've got to be careful because i got a neighbor that has fence, so i got to take this the uh, rails down, put my post in, be careful with the neighbor and all that. And so I had to tear up my okra garden a little bit to drill some holes, but that's okay. Okra, we got a lot of okra. We're going to have seafood gumbo. Got a bunch of people coming over for seafood gumbo here in a couple of weeks. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep working on this project and we'll get to the next video. There's probably going to be five or six videos to get this thing complete. I don't know how many. Anyway, keep walking with Jesus. Have a blessed day. Catch you on the next video.